okay, true story. I had like weird dreams where I'm like playing the grand piano and um so yeah, impulse decision to buy a piano. Obviously not the grand piano, but yeah. So you get the point. So this video is going to be about that. Okay, bye. So guys, it's been a while and um <laughs> I don't know how to do this anymore. So I actually recorded it and I and actually forgot to press the red button. I, I really don't know how to do this anymore. Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, so I went on this impulse decision to buy a keyboard. Not the grand one, but the... Not the one which you type in the computer, but a piano. Why are people staring at me? Oh my god. place where i went for the filthy car wash uh yeah there's a previous video about it anyways back to where we were um so yeah um i've been listening to a lot of classics on youtube and uh, specifically mozart beethoven moonlight sonata third symphony sorry fifth symphony and third movement you know stuff like that and i'm like i can play this this is easy and um for those who don't know, I actually play the piano, um, the keyboard, and I'm not very good at it. I know like three songs out, out of the top of my head. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to buy one. Then went on Amazon and then I checked everything. At least decent ones are like $300, $400, uh, the 88 keys one. And the the baby ones are like at least more than 100 and then I'm either they're not good the reviews are not good or they don't play enough or they get broken real fast sort of thought okay let me go on Craigslist Facebook marketplace eBay you know those good old places and um, again they were too expensive or they were not that great and I'm like oh my god what do I do and uh, guess what I actually bought one and um, this is the video of how I actually bought it and I'm gonna play something for you guys at the end of the video so yeah Fully like it um if you did hit the like button it looks kind of like this as well as subscribe because it really helps me uh boost my morale and create more crazy videos like this this video is kind of different from what i do uh but i hopefully you guys like it and hopefully you like what i play for you guys yeah again i really forgot how to do this video so i would really appreciate a like so yeah um yeah so this place is called The Starving Musician. It's by Stevens Creek and Saratoga. That's the crossway path in the Bay Area. Every time I used to go by bus when I was in college, I used to see this shop and I used to be like, oh my God, this guy is like, like, you know, crazy. The icon is like super crazy. So anyways, this place is amazing. It's a small shop where all these instruments get a second life. It's basically like a secondhand shop. Also, you get like first-hand instruments as well for real cheap and some of the deals are really, really good. Um, you know, like in Craigslist and stuff, you do find uh, items, but these are like in top condition, really good, and uh, they really know their stuff. You can just go around the shop playing any instrument you like, and um, you know, just go around, and you might see some of the instruments that are like the first of its kind or the first edition. Uh, they have a lot of stuff at the back, so I would say just look, look at the catalog before coming here. So yeah i did look at ebay amazon and stuff and then i was like okay i'm just gonna check out this uh place because i've always like wondered what it was and then i went on their website and they had the casio model that i was looking for uh which uh, is in my home uh in dubai so yeah uh, i wanted something similar and like not the 61 noob way even though i am a noob but yeah not so much of it but yeah, so depending on the price range and the brand, the price kind of goes up. Like Yamaha, for example, was like $600. I'm trying to play the chopsticks. Again, not very good at it because I lost touch. Uh, but yeah, hopefully this is what I'm trying to rekindle. The shop is amazing, like really, really helpful people. Like you can pick around any instrument and uh, start playing like, just like this guy. <laughs> yeah, so I wasn't going to buy this one because it's like the Casio 610, which is like $500 here. But this is like like the 80s and the 70s model. You still find stuff here. And yeah, it's mostly like guitar shop because not many people come here uh, to like pick up a 
piano like I did. And this is the piano that I purchased. Again, trying to play the chopsticks. You know, there's some things that I don't really give up and one of them is persistence. I keep trying pushing stuff, I guess. So yeah, so this shop is amazing. Um, if you're in the Bay Area, do check them out. Or if you want to buy something musical instrument, I would suggest buying second hand or even third hand before you get a hang of it instead of buying a new one. So yeah, save some bucks, you guys. The piano that I purchased came around with the stand for like 100 total, which is a great deal. Um, as you can see here, there are some guitars over here as well. This one was $20, but the string is all like broken apart and so you basically have to buy the string and they will help you fix it. So yeah, pretty cool deal. Uh, anyways, back to me buying the uh, piano, so yeah. So there you guys have it. I just bought my piano after a really long time and I'm gonna start playing it. <laughs> So yeah, this is my new keyboard piano. I haven't set up the stand yet, so that still requires some more time. And I also need to buy a chair, which I don't have right now. So basically playing it off the ground. I know like only one song, uh, the happy birthday one, because it's someone's birthday. So I'm going to be playing that and the chopsticks off the top of my head. Uh, like I said, there's a lot more practice that needs to be done. Um, but I believe in automation, so I'm just gonna play this guy. So, so, oh man, I'm just gonna play it over here, 66, and then play.
probably need more practice. But yeah, so this is what the piano is for. I'm gonna practice every day. And that is all, y'all. Hopefully you like this uh, part of the video. I'm gonna practice a lot. Um, I realized the middle part wasn't that great. So yeah, wanna watch more cranky videos like this? This is something that I've never done before. Uh, like and subscribe to this channel. It'll really, really help me a lot. And that is all, y'all. Bye! <laughs>